today I'm going to show you a Salvador Dali famous artist. I'm going to show you how to do his elephant with elongated legs. So I'm just going to show you the title page. So this is an idea. This gives you an idea of the type of work he's done. So you've got the elephant with the long legs. He did lots of things to do with surrealism. So think about things that don't really make sense that aren't real. So think about an orange with long legs. That's not something that's 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 happening in this world. <laughs> you know, you wouldn't see an orange walking around with long legs. So you wouldn't see an elephant with long, long legs. So Salvador Dali, he was Spanish. He's not alive anymore. He was known for doing everything to do with surrealism. It's called surrealism because real then you've got surreal. So surreal is, it doesn't, it, it's not every day. You wouldn't see it. It's not realistic. Um, so it's almost like a dream thing. So I'm just gonna leave that there and you can maybe copy that on the back, on the back of your work. So you've got 1904 is when he was born, which is a long time ago. And he died in 1989, so he's not alive anymore. But he's such a cool artist because, look at his moustache. <laughs> I just think he looks so cool. So he's got a pointy moustache. Um, and I'm going to show you some more pictures that he's done. So these are his artwork. So they're all things that don't really make much sense, do they? They look a bit strange, but they're really cool. So we've got... Whoo, just dropped a picture. We've got that one, which is an egg and hands and a chess piece and various other things going on there. We've got melting clocks which is what I'm going to do with you at some point as well I love the melting clocks so they're like the stopwatches um like a, like a grandfather's clock I don't know if you've got a grandparent that has a little stopwatch kind of thing in their pocket a pocket watch a bit like that then you've got this awesome picture there there's so much going on there isn't it so you've got a big horse you've got a person you've got oh, I think you've got another elephant <laughs> You've got two elephants there, I think, and lots of clouds. So he loved doing skies and backgrounds with things in it. So this is quite a strange one, isn't it? So you'd never really see that in your everyday normal life. It doesn't exist. So things which, almost like when you dream and something doesn't make sense, it's a little bit like that. So we, all we need today is paper, and we're going to do it portrait. So it's up this way. It's not laying down. And we're going to use a pencil. So all we're going to do first of all is think about think about a giant um, what was I going to say a jelly bean a giant um, jagged potato. We're going to do it there because we need a little bit of room here for the face. So make sure when you do it, it's up high, but it's more here than over there. So once we've done that, we're going to do just touch about here, and you're going to go out, and you're going to do this this is the trunk so you're going you're touching at the end of the jacket potato and you're going out and then creating a trunk shape that's quite a fun thing to do and then what you want to do is touch about there I would say about there and you're gonna go so you're trying to do a trunk of an elephant and you're going to just do an end. It's quite nice to make it your own. So you don't have to copy the exact picture. You can just make it sort of like your own piece of artwork. I like to create different things. Now, he's got big, big ears, but we're going to do a tail. So we're just going to touch the back here. We're going to go out, down. Where do we There's like a little tail. It's kind of a cute little tail. And the back, the back's not going to be rounded. We're going to make it a little bit like this. So you're going to touch this. So it's very, very subtle. And all I did was I went up. So I don't have, I'll just try and show you actually, I don't have the jacket potato kind of shape. So I'll just rub this out so you can see. So it's not rounded as much. It's more, it's almost, it reminds me a bit of um, kind of like, a, like that, that, that. It reminds me of half of a hexagon. So if you're not quite sure what I've done, don't worry, I'm going to go over it when this is dry. 
So you would rub this out, you'd rub the potato line out and you'll be left with this line. I could do it now actually, I'll do it with a pencil. So it's like this line goes up, a bit more flatter and then across. So it's not as, it's not as, as potatoey. <laughs> I love potatoes. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna do the ears. So what you wanna do is about here, so just think where that goes and where that goes. We're just gonna do like a line, just up like that. Don't worry too much because it doesn't have to be exactly like his piece of artwork. And then we're gonna touch this bit and you can just make it quite fun. So it's a shape like that, it doesn't have to be exactly that. Think of a bow and arrow actually, and this would be the bow. Now whatever's inside the bow, we're gonna rub out. So we're gonna rub out anything with a rubber. I'm using this special fluid because I've done it with pen. So I can't rub out very well. Now we want to rub out one last thing before we continue and it's this potato line so rub out that. Can you see now it's starting to look like a really cool elephant. So now we want to do on his back he's got this really nice kind of I almost feel like it's like a carpet but it's not it's almost like a shawl or a rug but it goes like that so think of it as it reminds me of just a rectangle spine and we're going to do a fringe so a bit like when you see a carpet you've got tassels on the carpet like the little lines any design you desire there I'm going to go with a little line there quite like doing a little pattern in there can you see I'm curving it because his back's curvy so we're trying to get it right with the curve now we could do swirls You could do whatever you like. I mean, I'm just doing anything at this point, and I quite like it, it's kind of cool. So the next thing you need is let's do the other ear. So we're just gonna touch about there, and we're gonna go, and the other ear, because they're so long, they're gonna come here. So you just touch the bottom of that, float, 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 which means don't touch the paper, and then just like that. So when you need to do something but you don't want to touch the paper you just take your pen off take your pencil off and you don't have to touch the paper now we want to do a really cool horn so we're just going to go from about here we're going to go oh, just like that and whatever's in that horn we're going to rub out so let's just rub this out rub away now he needs an eye, doesn't he? So let's do the eye. I like doing an eye like this. So it's just a simple eye. It looks like a, like a little bit of a triangle, I suppose. And then you've just got a little bit there. I think that looks quite nice. And you can, if you like, do your cartoon eye, do any eye you like. This looks a little bit like a mouth now, which is actually quite cute. I quite like that in some ways. Um, but what we want to do as well is now do the legs, right. We're gonna touch here. So at the back of the potato, we're just gonna do a line and a line. So it's like a triangle almost. And we're just gonna go, Wah. Then we're gonna go down. So it keeps looking like triangles. And then we're gonna do a really knobbly wobbly kind of knee. And then we're gonna go, ah. I get really, really thin now. And we're going to do a little wobbly wobbly bit there. There we go. So there's one leg, and it looks really strange, doesn't it? But it's supposed to look strange, so don't worry. Then here, we're going to do the same. And it doesn't matter if they don't look the same. It looks really nice, actually, if they're just different. Because remember, Salvador Dali did a very kind of strange and, and crazy, like really cool, um, strange things. So it's supposed to look a bit weird, a bit odd. It's good. So then we're gonna do a line there. Doesn't actually matter if you get the legs in a bit of a strange place, don't worry. Then there. So all I'm doing, I'm gonna do it again to show you actually. Just 
do it. It's nice to finish them off with a point. So I'll do it again. So we've got, so we're coming out with a triangle almost, almost creating a triangle from somewhere, as long as it's in the body, and then wobbly bit, and then another little triangle that goes really, really thin, then a bobbly bit. And then a really thin bit, and then a bubbly bit, and then another line. That's really, really small, that line, isn't it? Now, what I'd like to do is we're going to rub out just a little bit where we don't need. So, this leg is in front of his body, as in, you don't see the line, so we can rub that out and we can rub this line out. How's yours all looking? I think yours probably looks really, really cool. Now, we can with the ears. Just do this. I just think it'd be quite nice to do it like that. Just so they look like they've got some pattern in them. It looks kind of cool. I might do it there because then it looks like it's part of the ear as well. So think of them like, depends what you're seeing in the video. But it should be D's or C's. So just do that, it'd be kind of cool. Now you've got another horn, you've got another tusk. So we could just do this there. But I don't think it matters too much because ultimately it's a surreal picture. So it's not it's not real. So then we're gonna do a line. And you see that when I go down the line I, I lift off. I think my line's a bit wonky, but that's okay. Then we want to do some mountains because we're gonna copy a little bit of his picture, but not necessarily all of it. And I think that's it. We want some shadow. This is the shadow, so we can do some lines where he's, because it looks like the sun's shining. You know how you stand in the sun and you see a shadow of yourself? It's kind of like that. So this is the Salvador Dali elephant. Now what I want to do, I am going to colour it in using chalk pastel. So I've got some chalk pastels there. I think we could use anything. We could use paint, we could use pencil, anything. You know, pencil's quite a good one actually. So first of all, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do chalk, because I actually love chalk. Just my table's very messy. So I'm going to take a yellow chalk first of all. And I'm just going to create the background. So I'm doing this a little bit, not messy, but I'm not going to be too neat. So I've got yellow there. And that was pretty quick, wasn't it? But we didn't, it's because we held it on the side. But you take your time, pause this video. If you need to paint it and take your time, that's fine. Then I'm going to take what's close to yellow. I would say orange. So orange is kind of close to yellow, isn't it? So I'm just going to do, I'm doing this very simply, by the way, because I don't want to take up too much of your time. So I'm doing an orange, think about, a, it's like an ice lolly where it's got lots of layers and it's okay for the orange to touch a little bit of the yellow. I'm going to show you a picture that I'm working on at the moment with her little girl. So that's her elephant, we haven't quite finished it, but that took about an hour and we still haven't finished the elephant. So don't worry if you're thinking, whew, this is going to take a while. It takes as long as it takes, you know. So as long as you just take your time. And then what you want to do, once you've done the orange, pause the video if I'm going too fast. But I'm going to do a red, but I want two reds. If you've only got one red, I might do just one red for you now, because otherwise it might get complicated. But we're going to do all red. That looks cool, doesn't it? Sunset. Oh! <laughs> It's easy for the pastel to fall on the floor. Right, so that is my background. Now, ooh, what you need to do ooh, is you need to smudge. So you're going to blend. So you're going to start with the yellow and you're going to go, can you see what I'm doing? I'm going up. So I don't want you to go to the, don't touch the yellow if possible. So I'm going to go up. What I mean by don't touch the yellow is do the yellow first. I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Oh, getting a bit messy. So I touch the yellow with my clean finger. Touch the yellow, touch the yellow, and then touch the yellow. And when you hit the orange, yeah, I'm getting really messy now. 
when you hit the orange, you don't want to go back to the yellow because then it will cancel out the yellow. It will look, look like the yellow is too orangey then. So that's my super quick background. If you want to, you can go wash your hands, dry them, and then you can just smudge these two colours together better. So you can blend them so they look a lot more like they're blended all together and not just not just lined. Do you know what I mean? Can you see that? It's kind of blended now. You don't know where it begins and you don't know where it ends, and that's good. Okay, now we want. I am gonna get, I guess, a sandy colour. It's like at least a little bit like, can you see my hands? It's very messy. <laughs> a bit like um a brick colour. Doesn't matter if you don't know what colour to use. Do a lightish one. You don't want dark ground because we want to show the shadows. And you want to do this super carefully. Like I'm kind of doing it a little bit, a little bit quick. And also there's a little picture. There's a little picture. Your teacher or your parents might show you. There's a little kind of a little it's an object there in, in the picture, but you probably don't. I didn't put it because I thought, hmm, I like looking at the elephant more. So but there's like a little object and there's a little person in the picture. So you could maybe add that without even looking at the picture, really. It's like, um, should I draw it in the other one? No, I don't think I even drew it on the other project. No, no need. But it was like a little lantern almost. Right, this is looking cool because now what makes things look cool is black. We love black. So, we're going to do shadow in black. And the mountains I want to do in black, but I'm not going to colour them in just yet because I want to do the elephant first. So, let's do the elephant. Okay. Right, to keep it simple, I'm just going to choose a light colour I like. So, it wouldn't actually be purple, but I quite like purple. So I would do a grey, maybe, a light grey. Whatever you do, do it lightly, because you want to still be able to see the pencil lines, like his ears and everything. So mine, ooh, mine's a purple elephant. Or you could have a pink elephant, but remember that the sky is red, so it might look a bit strange with a pink one, but you could give it a go, couldn't you? Right, that's my purple elephant, and I'm going to smudge, so I'm going to blend. Now, because of the Tipex I use, because I need to rub out, you, you can't see the lines great, can you? You can see all those white lines, which aren't supposed to be there. Can you see the potato shape that we started off with? You won't have that, which is great, because you don't need that. So now, we're going to colour this bit. So this bit's really fun, because you can think, oh, do you know what? I'm going to do it green and orange or any colour you like. So I'm just going to do, this is the bit that can be the most colourfulest. I'm going to add a bit of blue in there as well. Ooh, I like that. I quite like just doing that, I think. I'm probably not going to smudge this too much. Do you think I should keep it right at the middle bit? No, I think I'm going to colour it blue. Okay, now. That is it because all we're going to do now is take our gorgeous black. So mine's a thin black, but I think you might. Don't do it with um, marker, it has to be chalk because otherwise it's going to ruin the chalk. Might smudge it a little bit, guys. Just smudge. Okay, now's the fun bit. I love doing this bit. So we're now just going to draw over. You don't have chalk, you'd still do it the same. So you'd still draw over with a black watercolour pencil or draw over with a black um, oil pastel. Or if you've got a normal coloured pencil, draw over with a black normal colour pencil. Because what you're trying to do 
because you're trying to make it stand out against your sky. It's quite tricky with the thin legs because you don't want to get it too chunky, do you? Now, I'd go around here black. Well, do you know, I'll probably go around everything black. Why not? Don't want to smudge it though in the mat because it can get a bit messy. And then I'll do these, definitely do these. Do you know what? We're going to colour in that now. So, this looks amazing if you use acrylic paint, all of this. So, if you did the whole picture of acrylic paint, you could um, outline it then after it's dry with a marker. So it's just chalk and um, oil pastel. You shouldn't go over with a marker because you can ruin the markers. Now, this is nearly done. I am loving this. So you want to get one finger after this, and this is what you're going to do. You're going to take it for a walk. So you're taking it for a walk. You're going around all the pencil lines. You're not smudging. You're just taking it for a walk. So that means... You're going over all the lines, but you're not going like that to smudge. You're just drawing over with your finger. It's like your finger becomes magic. Just got to be careful with the mat. Ta-da! There is my elephant. I think when I was a baby, I used to call them elephants. <laughs> but you want to do smudge that as well because you've got the gorgeous shadow. And then you can, if you can, if you want to at the end, you can add a sun on top, you know, you can go over with a yellow or a white. I quite like the idea of that. You probably don't need to because it's not in the picture. But I quite like adding a sunshine. Oh, you can't see it, can you? It's probably why he didn't add it either when he was doing it. It's a sunset, so you probably wouldn't see this sun. But I just like the idea of adding it. It's kind of cool. And um, you might want to sign it at the end. And you could use this as part of your homework if you're doing it from school uh, or your school projects or anything because this will look awesome actually. So I'm just going to sign mine da -da, with black pastel. And there we have it, your Salvador, oh no I've got a pastel on my head, your Salvador Dali elephant. Surreal Salvador Dali elephant. Enjoy and let me know how you get on. I'll be really interested to see what you create. Um, I just saw something that I'd like to add that you don't need to add quite like that because <laughs> it makes his trunk look bendy so it's kind of cool enjoy your enjoy your drawing and let me know how you get on subscribe like and share Mwah!